hello guys in this video i'll be showing you how to upgrade these type of batteries of these chinese drones with larger batteries also in this video i'll be showing you how to charge these type of batteries usually these type of drone have 1800 milliamp hour batteries these are the batteries it's a small battery and you have a lot not a lot of charge capacity you could go with lithium polymer batteries this can give you 4000 milliamp milliamp hour and I stacked in two, two stacks, so it is P2, yeah P2, and connected in, and connected in parallel. Also can go with this type of lithium polymer battery, lithium ion batteries. These are the polymer, these are the lithium ions. These batteries are more safer, but it costs more than this lithium polymer. The problem with these type of batteries are, this kind of batteries can get damaged, and if they get damaged, they will burn. There is not a lot of protection for this. And for this, these kind of batteries are more rigid. And can withstand a fall or some uh, problem with the, this battery is that you cannot discharge it very fast so you have to look for the proper C rating I think around uh, 7 to 8 amps are needed for those the Chinese drones and this can provide this kind of battery usually have a high drain capacity like uh, 3 to 4 it can go higher than 30 or 40 C so look for the C rating I'm using this and in parallel connection even if you're having these type of batteries i'm not recommending to use these type of batteries on these type of chinese drone because when the voltage goes down below a certain point it's around 2.9 the drone will try to shut down but this type of battery can go around uh, 2.7 voltage so actually you are wasting a lot of capacity you can use these type of batteries this kind of batteries are good at 3 voltage if you go below 3. Point, uh, if you go below 2.9 then this can get damaged but it's fine the drone will try to stop it for charging these type of batteries this type of batteries is pretty straightforward this is actually a bms that can charge the battery for connect it like this you see the two wires there you can connect it directly to this or this and charge it the problem with this is the voltage and the current that gives by the supply is pretty low so it will take too much time also this battery is 4000 milliamp 4900 i think milliamp hour which will take a lot of time this already this battery is uh, 1800 milliamp hour and it already already takes one one or two hours to charge it so i don't think you cannot charge you can charge these kind of batteries for this type of lithium ion batteries you can charge it two ways one is this type of adapters second one is using this type of buck boost converters buck boost or any type of buck converter but if you are going to buy a buck converter you should look for a buck converter with constant voltage and constant current the cc and cv this is a buck converter that i am using it is xl4015 i think this can deliver 5 amps max and uh, the small this type of this type of can deliver 1.8 and uh, i also have this type of charger this is very convenient because it's type c and it can only do 3 amps usually this type of charger cannot do a lot of amps usually 3 amps i think it's the max but you can go with these type of buck converters which is more convenient as you can control the current but that is also convenient as you don't need to change any current data but this kind of uh, buck converters can deliver more current than chargers as for my recommendation i will be recommending you to use this type of lithium polymer batteries you can use a better one but still lithium polymer is better than this type of lithium ion before you even buy battery you should look at your drone's maximum lift capacity so every drone have different capacities so let's say this drone this is my drone this is 4 drc v28 i think so this drone has a capacity of 120 grams uh, payload capacity though I'm not recommending you to go and buy larger batteries like uh, that weigh 100 or 120 grams because you need to uh, control the drone and uh, that also need a lot of thrust so I'm rec recommending you to go with around 50 grams to 80 grams to know the maximum payload capacity of the drone you have to do is take the drone put it on a scale then give it a throttle maximum throttle you have to stick the drone tightly with a duct tape or anything then lift it on max and you will know how much uh, 
how much payload capacity the drone can handle so if you don't have a scale then you can do is buy some kind of packet that have 100 grams or 120 grams 50 grams 10 grams any kind of substance you can usually look into groceries and you can uh, just some kind of a uh, tiny rope uh, a string or tiny rope just uh, tie tie the lift the drone when you try to lift the drone the um, drone may not able to lift so you know the maximum capacity of the drone that is one of the ways you can know the maximum payload capacity if you find the maximum load capacity you have to look for the battery having half or um yeah look for a half capacity so my drone have 120 grams so i'm this is battery is around 80 grams which is a little bit higher than i expected uh, i was looking for 50 grams but i got 80 grams but you can go with 80 grams still it will still fly but the stability will be a little bit bad before even connecting the battery to the drone you should do is you have to charge the battery so for charging uh, i have i have done is two connections one is you can charge with uh, this type of 3 amp supply and in here you have you can charge with the buck converter so if you look at the wiring you can see the positive and negative where it goes as for this i'll show you how it's done can connect it any direction i'm recommending you to for about three to four amps just try to go with the thicker wires if you don't have thicker wires just connect two wires like this this is the same wire look at this same wire two wires to a single i'm uh, i think it's around three amps so i think around three amps it will start to heat up the wire so this is the buck converter then take it in and just connect it you, you have to connect it properly because this is positive and negative has to be properly separated this is, a this is negative and positive to do that you have you can use a multimeter for it for the supply if you don't have a proper supply you can go with uh, these type of bulky chargers these are old chargers i got this kind of bulky chargers can do the thing which is pretty cheap Usually the output voltage will not be 4.1 or something because it is not tuned. Connect the wires to the multimeter. Then you see there is two potentiometer in here. First, first potentiometer from the input is for the voltage. You can see it. Okay. If you rotate it clockwise, it will increase. You can see it's increasing. If it, if you done it anti-clockwise, then it will decrease. So you have to go with uh, around. So you have to get a value of 4.1 or 4.15. It's also fine. So I'm going with 4.12. So don't go above 4.2 because it can damage the battery. After you've done that, you have to do is current. Then you have to also set the ampere to do that. You set the multimeter to current 10 amps is the max of this then connect the wires properly then you can do that just supply it after you after you connect it you can see a light comes on and uh, 3.1 3.2 is the maximum you also can change it by rotating the second potentiometer clockwise you can increase the increase the current this is the current one i have already set the current and voltage right now then you have to do is you can see positive negative positive negative positive negative to here i hide it sorry but you have to make sure that these both are correct if you want to check it again to check the connections whether these both are correct you have to do is connect the both like this this you can see it's in the multimeter you can see it is 4.16 and also here you can check it's negative 4.16 you can see it's
you can see it is also 4.5 which is a load you have to charge the battery so it's 4.5 it's also correct 4.05 so you can just connect it and uh, it will charge just properly like that and charge it the battery is now charging to check it you can also just take the multimeter and just connect it if you check the char where the charging is going correctly you just take it and check the multimeter See it's 4.2, 4.3. It will go up. Instead of using these type of connectors, you can also this you can use these type of connectors. This is uh, we focus in there. This is the XT60 connectors. This can also be used for the drone too. We have to connect the batteries to this drone. So there is two ways you can do it. You can use this battery plus that uh, new battery, or you can just go with the new battery. This type of batteries are heavy. I just going to say it. I'm not recommending to use it, but I'm going to use it in this video because I want extra capacity. You can just. As I said, I'm using this type of connector for my battery and the drone. You have to take this. This is a battery pack of the drone. Open it. And you see there is two wires you have to remove the battery from there from the housing and uh, circuit you can see this is the circuit you have to connect as i said i'm using this one for the battery for so that i have to now use this so i have uh, soldered the wires in there positive and negative and also you can see positive and negative properly as here you have to check which one is the positive negative and you have to check in here too then just connect it right now you can just do that before you connect it always check the voltage in here and the voltage in here in this battery because uh, you have to get around uh, 4 volt 4 voltage on both or 4.1 on look for the same voltage values the uh, same or a little bit like 1 2 voltage difference can charge the battery through here, here, and also you can charge it through here with the puck boost. So these two batteries weren't able to give enough current for the drone. So I am using the new battery with the already available battery. As you can see, I made a 3D print for the uh, attachment of battery. It sit on top of the uh, sensor, so like that. As you can see the drone was able to fly without any issues but in this I am using one battery instead of two batteries because of the limitations with the CUC rating. These type of cheap Chinese drone have very bad camera quality so if you are interested in increasing the quality I will be uploading a new video on that.